Hello, everybody, and welcome back once again. Here we are with another edition of Inside the Headset as we go over to East Tennessee and talk to the head coach of the William Blunt Governors, head coach Philip Shad Owens. How are you doing today, coach? Doing good, Stork. How are you? Doing really well. Um, well, it's getting down to the nitty-gritty, coach, and there's three left, and uh, you got a big one on Friday night. So, But first, before we start into that, talk a little bit about uh, the fall break. You know, I talked to Coach McDaniel um, Friday night and everything and was talking about Gary and how you know how we used to do it I guess years and years ago and you know we would run it just like a regular week and practice every day and go at it 90 miles an hour and things have changed now I mean you kind of got you can't kind of do that anymore because parents kind of get involved and things have changed and as coach Dye says that's the world we live in but uh, tell us a little bit about how you spent uh, fall break. Well, just like just like we did really the last six years out there at Blackman, we uh, we practiced on Thursday at the end of fall break, Thursday afternoon, and then came back again Friday morning. Okay. Uh, so we had two. You got two days in in our fall break. You gave the kids off the, the you know the previous day. So we had a Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We, then we got done Friday morning about ten forty-five, and they had you know they had the the rest of Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So we try to give them time off, but uh, you know not really. Uh, you can't if you give them nine straight days off, and that you know that's, that's hard. They lose conditioning after nine days. Right. So we don't we didn't want to do that. We wanted kids to have time off, time off, and bodies to heal and those kind of things. And and so we did enjoy a couple of days off. You know, give them a couple of days off, and we went back to work on Thursday of last week. Uh, coach, just uh, where are you right now as you track toward these last three games from where you started at the beginning of the season? You feel like you've improved more so on defense, on offense, or all around, or your effort? Where, where do you think you've You've, you've grown the most. Well, it's hard to tell, to be honest with you. I mean, we haven't played particularly good football here you know, lately. You know, against Maryville, you know, our last game out was against Maryville, and of course that was, you know, it was a mismatch, and, right. and we had five kids that were out for that game because of injuries due to the previous week. So it was one of those deals where, you know, they outmatched us and, you know, pretty much controlled the game from the get-go. And, um, and so we come back now, and, uh, you know, we got two straight region games at home, being McMinn County and Bradley Central back-to-back. We win both those games probably in the playoffs, too. So right. we have a lot to play for. We, you know, we've seen lots of improvement. But, but when you play in teams at the, you know, when you go up in competition, uh, you know, it's hard to see some of that improvement. And, and then, you know, as the year goes on, bodies wear down. We've had a couple of seniors that are out, you know, for the year now. Um, our tailback and our tight end also play defensive end, you know, have been out, I think, for the entire year. I know the tight end and, and defensive end's out for the year. And the tailback has probably he's been out for two weeks and is probably out definitely out for tomorrow night or uh, or Friday night, but he's probably out for the year based on what I've seen so far. So, you know, so you have to face those kind of injuries. And we're, you know, we're, you know, we're trying to gain depth and we've gained some depth. We're still, you know, we're not, you know, we can't hardly afford to lose too many kids. So, uh, I mean, men County's going to be a real challenge for us. They're, they're a physical football team. They played Udawa last Friday night, and I did go scout that. And, and uh, they really had Udawa beat. You know, Udawa had some injuries and they had some suspensions. I think kids are mispracticed, and so they had some really key players out. But, but I McMinn mean, County had the game won and then gave up kind of a Hail Mary pass with 30 seconds left to lose the game. So, uh, uh, so that is going to be a challenge for us. And, but it's a game which we have a chance to win and, and, uh, a legitimate chance to win. But we, you know, we've got to come out and play physical football and, and I haven't been very happy with that in the last couple of games. And so that's been our challenge to our kids is we got to be more physical. We got to be better tacklers. Um, and if we do those things, uh, then we have a chance to win. Obviously, offense, we got to put the, you know, get got to put some points on the board and get the ball in the end zone, and and we feel like we have a chance to do that. Um, it's just a matter of us going out and, and executing at a high level, and we have to execute at a high level against the competition we play against. So, um, so that's what we're looking for. We've had a, a really good last two days of practice. I thought last week was good. I wasn't happy Monday, but then we come back and Tuesday and Wednesday both had really good days of practice. So, so I, I feel like we're ready. Our kids have worked very hard at it, and, and I'm looking forward to, to the chance for tonight to play at home again. It's been a while since we've been at home. Yeah, yeah. Well, Coach, this is going to be our last show. I'm going to be on the road the next two weeks, but I did want to talk to you before uh, we kind of wrap it up here with the regular season and everything and just wanted to say thanks I appreciate you joining me when you can and uh, you've always been you I mean you never turn it down you're always there and always willing to talk football with me and I appreciate it 
Well, thanks, Rick. I appreciate you. I mean, knowing you, knowing you since we were both young people, we're not so young anymore, but uh, enjoy and appreciate you know what you what you try to do and kind of get the word out about you know a bunch of different schools. And I think that's a that's a service to communities that you in which you you know which you get to hear different coaches talking. So I appreciate you, brother, and you have a, a safe trip and go make some money. I know you. I know you, you got to travel a whole bunch. Go make some money and uh, and good luck to you, brother. All righty, thank you, coach, and uh, uh, hopefully uh, hopefully get in the playoffs. And uh, I, I feel like if you do, you'll be in that bottom bracket. You'll be coming to Murfreesboro. Yeah, no, I think originally we go to Upper East Tennessee, which okay. is the Knoxville, Dobbins, Bennett area. For you know, you well, that'd you get, be better you get to for the you. <laughs> that'd be, final game, so. that, that would be better for you if you went up that way. <laughs> yes, that's where we would go. That's where if we're making the playoffs, that's where we go to, the, to start with. For sure. All right, all right. Well, uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully, I'll get to see. And if not, I know I'll, I'll get to see you sometime playoffs at least round four, day after Thanksgiving. I know you'll be around then. Absolutely, brother. I appreciate you and good talking to you and have a good one. See you then, Coach. Bye. See you.